Oh, hi. Dr. Joe here with you again, talking about sequencing assignments. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've done this in a face-to-face -face class. You're going to sequence assignments. You're going to give them one assignment, followed by another, followed by another. It's really important when we do, like, languages. you got to do the conjugation, verb conjugation, then you move on to something else. Uh, or in mathematics, you have simple problems that become more complex and then even more complex. So sequencing assignments uh, is something that we do in the class. So why can't we do this online? So what I want to show you here is my screen. And this is what it looks like to a student when they come up with uh, a module. You have to do this in modules. Uh, this module for this week is The Market Revolution. And um, we have uh, student clicks on assignments that are due. They don't open. They can't open because you have to view this one first. So we'll then view um, the deep dive on Applebee's Vex story of capitalism. Um, when we go back to the modules, um, what we're going to see is um, all the way to the bottom that now they can click on the predictions on the title uh, and all those that, uh, that apply. Okay, so this is good. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sequencing these things. Uh, so I'm going to get out of student mode. And we're going to go into how to actually do this. I have a deep dive part two of Applebee's vexed story of capitalism. And I want to add assignments to this. That's the thing that you have to do is you have to add assignments or pages or quizzes and sequentially give them. And here I have different things for them to do. So I'm going to click on adding my assignments. I've already created these, so I'm going to add the consensus school. Um, don't worry about I'm just adding assignments. Don't worry about what order uh, they come in. But I've already created these. And I'm going to put these assignments here. Uh, she talks about in part two, the Marxist versus the classical economist. And she also talks about the neo-progressives. And oh yeah, there's vocabulary that goes with this. So definitions for part two. Uh, and you'll notice that these have different due dates. April 7th, April 10th, April 9th, April 8th. So I'm going to move them uh, in an order that I like. So there they are. Seven, nine, eight. Oh, nine's got to come down one. Seven, nine. Oh, no, I was wrong. Eight comes before seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Ha! Now, we want to sequence them uh, so that they have to read this part before they can access these. So what we're going to do is click on these little three dots to the side under modules. Click edit. And then come down here to add a requirement. So students must complete all of these requirements. Students must move through the requirements in sequential order. That's the most important part. So now we're going to update that module. Now, the one thing that I want to do is to make sure that students know that I want them to go in a certain order is to increase the indents on this. Um, and uh, the more I do it, you know, Canvas, if you're listening, you should put a number of indents that we want on a drop down and we can pick it so I don't have to keep clicking on it. But anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here. All right. So now we have all of this. So what does this look like? Complete all items is here. So what does this look like to the students? Well, I have to publish it first to kind of show you how to continue. And then, then we can go ahead and see what this looks like in student mode. So let's do that. And for that, I'll go home. And then I'll click um, student view. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Uh, and click on modules. Yep, yep, yep. And then as we scroll down, um, we'll see that democracy in Annabelle complete all these items. They can't click on any of these things that I just showed you until they view that. See? Se sequencing these things. That's it. That's all I've got. So simple. Well, not intuitive, but simple. Anyway, Dr. Joe, see you next time.